Greetings everyone, Pilot Pete here coming to you from CES 2023, where this week your Mac Geek Gab hosts, Dave Hamilton, John F. Braun, and myself, got to go to the Mandalay Bay Hotel and meet Paula Abdul as she stepped with both feet into the tech world to endorse the Paula Abdul's Idle Eyes Straight Up Audio Glasses. Let me tell you a little bit about the tech specs and then I'll tell you what we thought of the glasses as we've got a chance to try them on. First of all, they come with a UV 400 polarized sunglass lens, which is swappable with a blue light lens. Or, if you have prescriptions, as do I, you can have your own prescription ground and swap those lenses in. They also come with a carrying case, a charging cable, and a cleaning cloth. The frames are made of a TR90 nylon, and they have an IPX4 water-resistant rating. What does this mean? Well, don't submerge them. Other than that, if they get a little wet because you're in a rainstorm or something like that, you're not going to ruin the, the sunglasses. The lenses are shatter and scratch resistant and are made of a premium plastic, which is interesting because it made the glasses actually quite light. The other thing that we noticed was that the batteries were in the stem along the side of the glasses and that didn't put all the weight up on the front. So the actual weight of the glasses on the bridge of your nose is pretty light. The battery life for these glasses is up to five and a half hours and is fully rechargeable in about an hour. They use a custom four pin charging cable so it's not like a USB micro or mini or anything like that. You're going to need to keep that charging cable with the case. They have two total beam forming microphones so that makes it easy for you to take a phone call as well and has the standard Bluetooth range Bluetooth 5.1 of about 30 feet or 9 meters and they use a pogo pin charging cable you can find these glasses at paulaabdul.com slash product slash straight dash up stash glasses i'll put that here in the video All right so what did we like or dislike about the glasses the interesting thing about it is dave and i were both able to put on a pair at the same time and put music on listening to different songs we were able to carry on a conversation while listening to the music it's easy to pause the music with a simple push of the button on the stem of the sunglasses, but we were able to carry on a conversation. In a quiet room, you can probably just hear that somebody might be listening to something, but it's not annoying, it's not intrusive. They were actually pretty good in that sense as well. They sounded good. They didn't sound as nice as an earbud in the ear, but that is an entirely different audio experience, as you well know. The advantage to that is, is, like I said, you can carry on a normal conversation and safety isn't compromised. I suspect that if you're out running, you can listen to music, but you aren't in danger of being sneaked up on by a, a speeding car that's uh, heading your way. You're going to hear traffic and street noise around you that you might not otherwise hear with uh, earbuds in or something like that. All in all, these glasses were really nice. They were lightweight. They were comfortable. The ease of swapping out sunglass lenses and or putting in your own lenses or blue light filter primo these were fun to wear they're fun to listen to and i would put rank it right up there as a top-notch product in the cool stuff found and getting to meet paula abdul seeing as i'm somebody who grew up in the 80s that was pretty cool too so until uh, until the next item i review this is pilot pete from the mac geek gab thanks for listening and don't get caught Straight up, come on now. There you go.